like a button. Come on. Did I freeze it again? No. Make sure I'm recording. Hello and welcome back to Purgatory. Hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Uh, make sure I'm recording. Wait, I forgot to grab a bottle of water. Give me one second. Put my headset... Oh, sorry. I clicked one of my own water bottles. Stretch over. Grab it from my fresh pack. Okay, pop it there. Put headsets back on. Okay, that's that done with. Well, I guess I want to drink a little bit before we begin. Remember to hydrate while you're playing games. Spilt a little bit of it on me. But who cares. Let's start. I totally forgot to load my save. What one's ours? I guess it would be... Yeah, last episode we finished Sheen and Elijah's bit, whatever they were doing again. Uh, the everything slam, that's it. It's like the poetry slam, but it's for everything. Well, we have Oliver and Natalie to finish. Well, I guess we can start with uh, Natalie. Uh, let's see. Head up here, through that door. Live, laugh, meow. Live, laugh, meow. L, L, M. Let's talk to you. Hey, what's up? How's the drawing? How's the rainbow dog drawing? Uh, did you erase it again? Yeah, I don't know. Not really feeling it anymore. Kinda just want to sleep. Oh, that's alright. You don't have to draw if you don't, if you're not feeling like it. Hmm. <laughs> that's how the cookie crumbles, all that. And all that. I guess. Are you okay? You kind of look blue. Tenko, I've always looked blue. I didn't mean it like that. Lol. Is that like a longer lol? Lol. Guess I'm just a little demotivated. Because I don't feel like doing anything at all. Ah, I feel you. I think maybe I'll just go to sleep again. Unless you have a better idea. Uh, what about... Taking a walk. What if you took a walk in the, pa in the park? Uh, no one told me the afterlife would involve exercise. Mostly kidding. Walk sounds nice, but I don't think I'm up for it right now. Ah, okay. Petting the cat. What if you went to the commons and pet the cat? Eh, uh, no thanks. I'm allergic to cats. Well, it's kinda a big problem because in purgatory there's cats everywhere. And they put you in purgatory. Oh my, that's so cruel. Right? Painting a mural? What if you painted a mural? Like, you know, that one in the Capnip Garden. Yeah, do I know it? I'm the one who. I'm the one that drew it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was just a little gift for Numa. Oh, that's really sweet. Maybe the two of you could make another one just for ourselves. Maybe the two. Ah, oh, two of us could make another one just for us, ourselves. Hmm. Tell you what. That actually sounds pretty fun. Let's do it. Woohoo! Let me just grab my art supplies. Natalie, finish she. Get away, sly. 
Sorry, I have a slime in my room and I have a bat, well, slice water ready to hit it at any moment. Also, I have my fan on in the background, so you might hear that. Natalie fishes a bag of pencils out of the, a drawer. Alright, let's go. The two of you climb out of the attic. Well, it's been a while since I've been down here. What year is it? Uh, 2021, I think. Poop. I died all the way back in 2015. Well. Do we have flying cars yet? No, but we have selfie six. No, that's kind of, you know, 2010s. No, but we have blockchain. No, but we have a blockchain. Yes. No, but we have a blockchain. Yes. No, we have a blockchain. No, but we have this thing called blockchain. What is that? What sort of... thingy weapon... melee weapon... No, it's like... some sort of technology to use for Bitcoin. Apparently it's destroying the environment or something. Oh, we had Bitcoin. Not as a... Not... As a exciting as I expected. Sorry to get your hopes up. So is this like your house? I don't know, it was empty when I got here. So I just moved in. Did you draw that sign? Do you know what happened to these pills? That's more of a, you know, question. They were like that when I got here, but... Based on the general theme of this place... Probably wild wolverines. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. So where should we go? You know that long hallway outside of Commons? Probably lots of good walls to draw in there. Bet. You make your way to the hallway. Oh, this is perfect. Can't wait to graffiti this up. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, like right now? Yeah, sure. Didn't you say you couldn't wait? Yeah, but I didn't mean it literally. Like, I could definitely wait if I had to. Oh, come on, draw something. Natalie brandished brandish a pencil. Okay, I'm going to do it. Go for it. Natalie does not move. Take your time. Ah, I can't do it. I'm still art blocked. Dang. What should I even draw? I don't know. Maybe a... Uh, a dragon. Okay, I'll, I'll draw a dragon. I'm doing it for real. Okay. Natalie Furacy scribbles on the wall. Done. Nice. That's a cute dragon. Thanks. Why is it saying books? Because it's a book. W Y R M. Worm. Worm? Worm. Worm! His only love is. Get away, fly. Okay. His only love in his life is books and he hoards them. Get away, fly. I told you. I'm getting attacked by a fly over here. You know, I thought a fan would do more wonders to keep it away. Now this one keeps attacking me. Don't know what it is. It's just... The sly disappears, disappears, reappears. And he hoards them in the library. Libraror. Get away, stupid sly. I just want to read one sentence. But he's doomed to a life of tragedy because he keeps setting his own books on fire. 
Oh, I see. Do you want to draw something? Uh, sure. Might look kind of silly next to your masterpiece, though. Now, don't worry about it. Here, take my pencil, thanks. Here goes nothing. Wait, I actually get to draw. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, need some eyes over here. It's called Oki from the side. Eh, uh, let's see. This is Oki F. He was, you know, Kirby looking face. Okay, let's spell okay. I'm having so much fun. Not often they get let you, you know, draw on walls like this. Eh. Uh, Okay, let's go. We need to write something funny. Fart. Okay, let me get a bit closer so I can write this pretty right. Uh, is it two to take a picture? Four, five, three, one. It's twelve. Uh, let's see. What else can we draw? Hmm. Let me scratch my ear. Let's draw Betty the square. That's something else I've drawn. Hey. Um. Betty. You 
You know, it's so harder than you actually think it is just to draw this mouse with a single, you know, you can't change the size of your pencil. You are... Uh... Eh. Nice. Eh, uh, let's see. Person. Hey, let's rub a little pad. Yeah, I might as well have fun. Hey, let's see. When... Two... Three... Oh. We're all running out of lead over here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's pretty correct. Wait, I forgot something very important about. Okay. His little blush marks. You know, when I was first drawn, okay, I had to decide between just a blob of pink or, you know, lines to represent it. So, like, uh, yeah, like that. Can't draw on the ground. But butter. Yes, that is what we shall write. Butter. It shall be on the wall here forever. Eh, let's see. Let's see if we can write everybody's name. A lie. Tory. Let's see if we can write everyone's name. Eh, let's see. Oh, it's like the spray paint from paint. That's what it's like. Because it keeps messing out spots, it's like the spray paint. Eh, uh, let's see. Noom. Ma. Get away, Sly. I'm busy over here. Eh, uh, Oliver. That's probably gonna be one of the hardest. No, King Sung is. Eh, let's see. King. I 
What does King Sung mean? You got Elijah, Tori, Numa, Oliver, King Sung, Natil. Eh, let's see. There we go. Make sure I'm recording. Who else? We got Numa, Tori, Oliver, Natal, Sin. Sin is the last one. Get away, Sly. Get away. Told you that. Sorry about that. I hit the wall with my bat. Oh no, that wacky wacky thingy. Okay, let's take a picture before we finish. Probably the most work I've done on a painting in a little bit. No. I don't think it's the most work. I think it's the second most work because the most work would have been that uh, drawn okay in a Japanese schoolgirl outfit. Uh, wow, nice work. Thanks. Pretty happy with that actually. More over Picasso and then move over Picasso. There's a new artist in town. <laughs> What are you hooligans doing? Tori appears down the hallway. Hey Tori. Just add a little splash of colour to the hallway. Metaphorically, of course. Given the whole everything is in black and white thing. I see. No offence, but is it a good idea to scribble all over the world walls we're going to be stuck in for eternity? Oh, we're just having a little bit of fun. You want to draw something too? I'll pass this time. Do you like the dragon? I do like the dragon actually. Why is it insane books? Natalie waves her hand dismissively. Long story. You know, Natalie, your art style kind of reminds me of this artist I used to follow. I think her name was Pocket Nat. Sorry, what? Pocket Nat. Like a world pocket. Then Nat. Like the first part of your name. Where? Yeah, she ran this web comic called Nocturnal. But she just disappeared one day, social media, everything. Natalie, are you okay? You've read Nocturnal? Oh, are you familiar with it? You could say that, yeah. It used to be my favourite. It was a sad, sad day when pocket disappeared. Granted, there were a couple of continuation comics made by fans, but I'm not sure if you were around for that since you died before me. Come to think of it, you died around the same time pocket disappeared. So I guess you wouldn't have been... Uh, I'm sorry, it's just me. Or is this conversation becoming a lot of sort of one-sided. I think maybe what uh, Natalie is trying to say is it's it me. Me pocket. I mean I'm pocket. Sorry? I'm pocket. It's me. I made nocturnal. No way. Yes way. Oh my. Dude this is so cool. Can't believe you used to read nocturnal. 
If you really are poking it, I have to know. Were Edward, Edvard, and Twist ever supposed to get together? Well, duh. The subtext is all over chapter 13. I knew it! Well, this sure is crazy. Wow, I remember I used to read so much fan fiction about those two. Wait, really? Did a lot of people ship them? The better is question. The better question is who didn't ship them? There's one fic where Sophia becomes a mech pilot. I think I've just gotta go. You know, spoiler warning, but that's just that's similar to what similar to something I was drafting for the third arc arc. Tell me now quickly Sl slid away, siddle. You quietly siddle sidle away from the conversation. They don't seem to notice. But the craziest part is they were roommates! Oh my! Wow! They were roommates! My art will be on this wall forever. It's still on the wall. Thank you. It's great to see that it's still on the wall. But I did not get the blue yet. Well, let's go talk to Oliver. Progress time, you know, all that stuff. Totally forgot that he's in there. Uh, his uh, study. Oliver. Huh? Oh, hello, sorry. Can I help you with something? How's your work going? Sorry. Still looking for a foothold. Already read that. Is this what you did in real life? Well, if you mean beating my head against a wall, break through, yes. Already read that, but. What's up? Just researching. Go, go. Hmm. What do you think of the others? They're fine, I suppose. Sorry, I don't really have time to chat right now. Ah, that's okay. I don't know when it's finally going to... Wait. Go back a bit. No. I saw something. Right there. Oliver's research poster from the Everything Slam. They actually put it here? Hmm. I see it. Cool, a snow globe. Probably missed another snow globe. In here. That's a book. Has to be closer to you somewhere. Hey, yeah, let's see. Imagine if everyone knew each other, huh? Something looks a bit off. I wonder who made this. Yeah, let's see. There's really no more areas to discover, is there? Eh, yeah, let's see. Pet the cat. Now, we need to finish everything before we call, you know, the guy who was here before. Eh, uh, let's see. Oh, it's still on the wall. Well, I guess that means we can continue on with Singy's quest then. Oh, it looks like they're just, you know, replanting, I think. Hey, boys. Hey, yo. Elijah sits up and wipes sweat off his forehead. Good to see you're getting some fresh air. Hmm. Really makes a difference, you know. Does it? The air smells pretty much the same as usual to me. Eh, uh, maybe it's just a placebo. Either way, it's good for the soul. You're getting good at... You're getting good at wedding? Weeding? Ah, no. Weeding. You know, it's very hard to, you know, just say that word. You know, try and, you know, understand how it was written there. 
Hey, let's see, Whedon. Oh, you have no idea, dude. I've been pulling so much weeds. I weed guru at this point. I'm a weed guru. What does that mean? Don't know. Seem pulled up one of the weeds and it said he had to lie down because his bones hurt. Hey, you have to take care of your spine when, it, when it's as long as mine. Because Elijah chuckles. Sure, sure. Elijah, you should show him this flower. Oh yeah, check this weird flower we found. Elijah holds out up a strangely shaped bud. Oh, it's shaped like, like a something familiar. Yeah, it's the shape is certainly provocating. Is that the right word? Provocating. Hmm. Yes. Well said. Oh hey, thank you, Barry. Well, I just seen. I just thought this. I, I just. Can't speak. I thought I would stop by to check up on how you are doing, how everything's going. Pretty great, man. Pretty great. Park is already starting to look a little bit better. Yo, Numa, you gotta check this flower out. Numa looks blankly at the flower in Elijah's hand. It's very nice. Does it remind you of something? No. Are you sure? Reminds me of something. Yes, I do believe this, this flower is suggestively suggestive of something. I do in fact concur that this flower resembles resemble res resemblance re resolum I can't say that word. You know sometimes there's a word that I get stuck on and can't say of another object or thing resembles another thing. Okay, it looks like a pee pee. Jeez. <laughs> it's not that funny. S snork. Is that like snork? It's kind of funny though. The way you said it. Well, let me put that there and take my water bottle. Well, if you're, if you, you're going to say, eh, well, if you're going to be like that, maybe I'll keep this water bottle for myself. Wait, I'm holding a water bottle. It's my water bottle, leave it alone. Wait, you brought us water? Have fun with your pee pee flower. Eh, pee pee flower. Numa marches away. Again, it reminds me of the pea flower weed. It looks like it's a flower, but it's a weed. But if you stepped on it, you would pee yourself in the, your sleep. Of course, I don't think it was true. But I did think it was true when I was younger. But I still stepped on them anyway. Wait, no, please! I'm so fusty! Numa! Elijah scrambles after her. Yeah. Death is good. Dude, death is good. Well, where was I supposed to go anyway? Oh, yeah, I was going to visit Natalie. Eh, yeah, let's see. Check around. Uh, let's head up. Let's go into that attic. A layout for a comic page. Oh, hey, Tinkleberry. Well, I'm sorry I snubbed you earlier. Don't know what that means. Like a snub nose revolver. Oh, I'll cut you off at the end. Ah, I get it. You know, snub nose revolver. You cut the end off. It's a snub nose revolver. You cut off the end. I was just so excited about Nocturnal that I forgot about everything else. It's okay. What's... Wow, it looks like you've been working very hard over here. I can see a comic page on the ground over there. You bet. 
Tori got me motivated to work on Nocturnal again, so I started drawing the next chapter, based on what I remember from Earth. Isn't that awesome? That's great. Get on over your art block, Moth. Feel pretty good. Feels pretty good. Uh -huh. nah, uh, nice, yeah. I feel like I could draw 10 robot dudes and 10 us. Those 10, those big birds too. 10 big birds. You know, it's just a bunch of big birds in a room. You know, big, ye the yellow one from Sesame Street. Yes, all that art was pent up. Pent up inside you. All you need sometimes is a push in the right draw direction. You'd be right about that. You know what they say before you learn to run, you have to learn to walk. Italy holds up a drawing of an old lady holding a walk. What? Why do you just have that on hand? Okay, see this? This is from a section where Sophia goes into a dream of an old lady and she's cooking dinner for her family, right? Like a harmless little grandma. But it turns out she's actually a spy special in walk combat. Wow. Bro, it's going to be so cool. I have so much fun. Okay, have fun. Thanks, I will. You remember all the things you never did. You always wanted to. Get good at. That seems nice. Maybe things would have been different if you had known how you die, would die. You could have le at least rehomed your dogs, visited your hometown, said goodbye to your friends, turned off the oven. Wait, did we leave the oven when we died? Deleted some private stuff on your computer. Donated your stuffed animal collection. Spent the rest of your savings on pizza. Rehomed your dog. As I would say say goodbye to your friends would be probably the best option. You could have said goodbye to your friends. Did we just fall down the attic again? Tinkleberry? Oh my, are you okay? Erp. Yeah, I'm fine, just got a little dizzy all of a sudden. Dude, you totally blacked out and fell over. Are you sure you're okay? Sorry, I hit my legs there. Yes, I'm fine now. Thanks, so. Okay, good. I was about to start doing mouth to mouth or something, jeez. Take it easy, okay? Will do. And all is left is Oliver. Oliver, here we come for you. Who would think Oliver would be the last one to talk to? I never thought Oliver would be the last one that I would talk to. I never finished the sock, you know, collection thing. You know, I thought I would, you know, collect all these socks just lying around. It looks like scene. It's, you know, gone. Oh wait, no, they're back. Hey, Tinkerberry. Ask about. Work, travel, friends. So what were your friends like? Oh, they were alright. They were alright. Met a lot of folks through the one pottery slam club. Were they a lot of you? Nah, not really. Uh, it's cool probably just five or six of us. Oh, I see. People always came and went though. <laughs> like this guy named Aram. Get away, Sly. For a wacky with this bat. Oh. Sly Swatter, that's it. Could not remember his name. He joined the club when his family emigrated to Armenia. Give me a second.
Sorry about that little thing there. It's just trying to find out where the sly went and, you know, kill it. He joined the club when his family emigrated from Armenia. And Armenia. Then he left two weeks later to pursue his dreams of being a nurse. Well, he taught me how to say JK in Armenian. Armenian. Oh, okay. only that? Well, he taught me some other stuff too. That's the only one I remember. Nice. There were three of us that were very pretty tight for a while. Only ones that keep kept coming to the meetings in the end. But even we just drifted apart eventually. One of them, Jessica, she left for to join a family business. And the one, N Naeem, I think he left for college in California maybe. Oh, that, that's that's horrible. You know how much apartment or something in, you know, California cost? Well, if you're living in LA, it's got to cost a fortune. The only way that you can pay back that money is if, if you were an actor or something. A pretty good actor, then. Like $50 million, something like that. Pay back your entire student loan. I don't know how much a student loan is, like... 200,000? So even if you got good at acting and then dropped out of acting. And you left for purgatory? <laughs> sure did. Ain't exactly what I had in mind, but hey, at least there's good company here. Yes, it's always good to have good to company. Eh, uh, let's see, let's go talk to Oliver. I wanna go back up the hallway. Yeah, that's good. We got butter over here, we got books, we got fart sound, we got some blush marks that I was telling that I could have made the blush marks on okay this instead of the little circle balls. Like a it's like a Kirby, but with no face and no legs or well, feet. And we also got a you know love hat here. We got another heart over here, we got Butter, we got everyone's name, Elijah, Tori, Numa, Oliver, Kingston, Natalie, Sheen, and then we have Oki's name here, with an excl exclamation mark, sorry about that. I had a burp there, and because of the water, I got to take another drink to make sure my throat is hydrated, because the last time that I was playing this, my throat was so dehydrated by the end of it. Well, let's go check out, uh... How do we know the place is actually called Purgatory? Oliver, huh? Oh, hello, sorry. Can I help you with something? How's work going? Sorry. Still looking for a foothold. Can I help? I'm um, no thank you, are you sure? You look exhausted. I'm serious, I don't need any help. So some space please? Push it. Well I think you do need help. Staying cooped up in, in here isn't healthy for you. You should at least let me get you something to drink. Please. Well, I suppose I'm a bit parched. That, uh, that's another way to stay dehydrated. Some orange juice would be nice. Alright, you got one orange juice soda coming up. Thank you. Oliver goes back to scribbling about another word. Eh, uh, let's see. You know, is it really healthy? Water killer looks like a... If you had a cup, you could... wonder where you could find one. Hmm, probably none in there. Probably none in here. Hmm. 
We're looking for a cup. How do how do we find a cup? Yeah, I can't really, really remember where I found a cup. Probably found one somewhere. And none here. That's a can of white paint. This place was painted white. Used to have color, but you know. Who designed this path? Well, we don't have to go that way. Hmm. Probably no cup to that way. Eh, uh, let's see. Does he have a cup in here? Ah. Illegible. Hey, let's see. I can't find a cup here. Must be a cup in there, you know. Where Natalie is. In the Tory area. I'm going a bit fast here so we can... Cups around here. Hmm. It's really a bad bed, it has no mattress. A cylinder. Bowl. It won't budge, no keyhole either. Small containers, I already know that. Ah, so that would be, you know, cups there, but no. Anything over here? Hmm. No cup here. Hmm. A bucket. I think you could just fill up a bucket with orange juice. Probably would it be sanitary. Eh. You know, just a dirty bucket filling it with orange juice. Wait. Looks like a painting is missing. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Lot of paper. Oh, well, we've already been here, right? Yeah, there's no book. Well, no book thingy there. Cup. That's what I was trying to say there, but. Uh, let's see. Where could I find a cup? Uh, let's see. Don't see a cup over here. A mallet. Oh, what do we have? It's a whale. Also, it's full of milk. Yeah, I know that. Trying to find a cup around here. Eh, uh, let's see. Where, where's the cup around here? Oh, there's a tiny slide. It's really get annoying with all these slides. Eh, uh, let's see. Wipes. Give me a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Sorry, I was trying to kill a tiny little slide there. You know, before we get the big. Eh, uh, let's see. Get all of us some orange juice. Welcome to Purgatory. Poor chair, it's gone now. How many? Wait, sorry about that. Oh, wrong way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. It's just more meows. I don't expect it to be this hard to find a cup in purgatory. Eh, uh, let's see. Where could I find a cup? I see no cup here. Well, I see no cup here. None of these lockers. Might as well check the abyss. Eh, uh, let's see. Is that a cup? No, that's just a rock. Can't even click on that. Hmm. Is there a cup at the graveyard? No, there wouldn't be. Double check. No. Nope. Cleared everywhere, I think. You're already on that floor. Isn't that just a Christmas song? No, I feel like I've heard that song before. Better not get copyright for that. Eh, uh, let's see. Desk covered in papers. Broken lamp. Check the museum and there's none in here. Open it, yes. There's nothing inside. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's Kettler. Why is it so hard to find a cup? Blank or something. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing here. Just checking something there. Where could this cup be? Hmm, it's not there. It's not in his in their hand. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Cup. Some candles. I'm looking for a cup. Is that a cup? No, it's just sticky tape. Hmm. <laughs> wow, 
Well done, Heaven. <gasps> a glass, dangerously close, close to the edge. You could use this to get all over some orange soda. As you reach for the glass, the cat looks eyes above you. Don't you dare. Poop it. Toaster. Better unplug that. Unplug it. It's too dangerous. You can't open them because someone forgot to draw handles on them. I think. Yep, it dispenses milk. Bad cat. Bad cat. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is just a little bit blocked. It looks like someone was pushing glasses off the counter. Obviously it was a cat. Tinkerberry! What was that noise? Oh, nothing. Just broke a glass. Oh, phew. I was worried someone got hurt. Nah, I'm fine. Do you know where I can find another glass, though? Uh, I don't know. As far as I know, that was the last cup in purgatory. Dang. But who knows? Maybe you can find a cup... Couple laying around. You mug me kid. You... You... You must be kid... Mug be kidding. Oh, honest tea is the best policy. Okay, I better go tell Oliver he's not getting orange soda. Okay, see ya. I'll be up in the attic if you want to hang out. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go tell Oliver the bad news he's not getting orange juice. I bet you he has one like stored in a drawer or something. It says, go get me that orange oh, shoes. Eh, uh, let's see. Imagine drinking orange juice for the rest of your life. Well, it isn't really that bad. Eh, uh, let's see. Wrong way. Yeah, somebody should really clean up the environment around here. Oliver? Oliver couldn't find... Oliver, I couldn't find a, a cup to put your soda in. He's fast asleep. Put his blanket over him. You grab the blanket from Oliver's bed and drape it over his shoulders. This is it Andrew? Stop it. You freeze. Just five minutes. You slowly back away from Oliver. Before you can get out the door, you knock over a tin can of ball. Tin can full of pens. Look! Huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Uh, it's okay. Ugh. Oliver stares blearily at you and then his papers. How long was that? I'm not sure, I just got here. Wanted to tell you that I couldn't find a cup for orange juice. Ah! I'm going to miss the deadline. He rubs his eyes and searches for a pen. What deadline? The Theseus deadline. It's in... It's... Where am I again? Your study. Remember? Alright. Bye. I should really clean this place. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Thank you for waking me up. But I should get back to wor work. Oh no you don't. Really I think you should take a break. You must be really tired if you fell asleep at your desk like that. I'll be fine. Think about it. This is important. This is the only lead that I... I know, I know. I'm just worried about your health and stuff. I appreciate the concern. Now please, I have to get back to work. Fine. Oliver yawns. Thank you. I'm glad you see reason. Well, at least you... Well, at, well, you at least stretch every now and then. Oliver? Oliver! Yeah, what? Oh, sorry. 
You fell asleep again. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe you have a point. I mean, that's not so. Sorry. I don't know. I can't just sit around when there's work to be done. Well, you don't have to sit around and do nothing. Maybe we can go for a walk. Get a change of scenery or something. A walk where exactly? Hmm. In the Mausoleum. How about the Mausoleum? That sounds agreeable. Let's go then. Right now, maybe I can finish another... Maybe I can just finish a note in this data and... Yes! Right now! Come on. Alright, alright. Oliver follows, follows you quietly to, Mazel, to the Mazeum. Mazeum. You know, somebody should really create the Mazeum in real life. That would be cool. Ah, culture, art, profession. Not sure if I would call this culture. What do you mean? There's a Da Vinci right there. I think that's one's Vermeer. Vermeer. Alright. You walk in silence for a while. I wonder if the Chardonnay cat is dead or alive. Shrug. I guess the smell would be a dead giveaway. Huh. You walk in silence some more. What's on your mind? Nothing. Just tired. Fair enough. You know what's on my mind? Airline food. What's up with that? The low pressure on planes make your taste buds less sensitive so the food tastes worse. Oh. Cool. Um, want to sit on that bench? Sure. You sit next to each other. You know, I've always had a hard time admitting that I'm wrong. Oh. Yes, I was always a somewhat stubborn person. I guess that hasn't really changed since then, no? My problem is that I'm always wrong. I had that problem too. <sighs> hmm. So he's stubborn even after death. My problem is that I'm always wrong. Well, I'm sure that's not true. Nah, it's okay. Being wrong has its upsides too. What could possibly be upside about being wrong? Well, you learn a lot more that way. And sometimes you learn from really interesting people. Hmm. I guess I never thought about it that way. I remember in middle school. This is kind of a stupid story, but on the way to to school, one day my brother pointed out that shirt my that my shirt was outside in. Hmm. The funny thing is, I already knew it was inside out, but I didn't want to acknowledge it that he was right. So I was I just left it like that the entire day told my friends it was an inside joke and for a name reason it started catching on. The school was plagued with inside out clothes for weeks. Nice. Truly a trendsetter. Eh. In a way, yes. But it's kind of kind of silly, isn't it? I wore my shirt inside out for an entire month just to prove my brother wrong. Oh, you were just a kid. Kids do all sort of dumb stuff. I suppose so. Want to play tic-tac-toe? Sure. Oliver pulls a pen out of his pocket and draws a board. I go first. Okay. Now you draw an X anywhere on the board. 
I hate when people go first because I know that's a winning, a winning move there. I know how to play tic-tac-toe. Alright. Hmm. And it's a draw. That's a tie. Yep. Up for another? Sure. You can go first this time. Hmm. No, wait. Hmm. Ah. Uh, that's a win. Wow, you're really good at this. Uh, it's only allogrammatic. Grammatic. Grammar? Grammatic? Let's do another. No, 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 no. The draw. Another tie. Very fitting for Purgatory, indeed. Maybe the key to getting out here is beating you at tic tac toe. Uh, let me think. That's another tie. Tie. I hope you're not growing tired of this. Eh, uh, not quite yet. Man, I really suck at this game. Oh, uh, well, not necessary. True. One more. Sure. Ah! That's a win. Wow. I give up. I guess I just suck at tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Well, to be fair, tic tac toe is a solved game, right? Right. It's not hard, hard to find the perfect strategy. Yep. Since I'm using that perfect strategy, and it's actually impossible for you to win. Oh. Well, why do you even play this game if you know you're going to win? or tie every time. Shrug. Honestly, I'm not sure. Because you do do head. That's why. Maybe it's because deep down I just feel the feeling of being successful. Oh. Sorry for calling you a do do head. It's fine. Sorry for not letting you win. Yeah, it's fine. And sorry for being such a butt to you earlier. I was tired and frustrated, but that's no excuse. That's okay. No hard feelings. Like you said, you were just really caught up on your work. Yes, but exactly the problem I've always had. I get caught up in my work and then, well, Oliver puts his head in his hands. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about it? You see, when I died, I was working on my thesis. The little wood conjecture, the obscure number theory problem. I'd already spent several years chipping away at the project, but I was stubborn, didn't want to admit I had wasted all my time researching a inattractable problem. I, I didn't want to feel like a failure. It feels silly to say it, but now that I'm dead, I'm sorry you probably don't want to hear any of this. No, it's okay. I don't mind listening, Sniff. Well, 
As I grew up, dre grew desperate. I started spending more and more time in my apartment researching. Meanwhile, life just moved on without me. My mother, she passed away. My friends fell out of touch one by one. And, for poop, I hadn't gone on a date in years. But, what really haunts me? One day, my only brother got in touch. Had I talked to him in a long time, but I was only family he had left and he needed help but I well I was out of grant money so I didn't think I could well I calculated that I mean taking into consideration my brother's lifestyle sniff never mind it doesn't matter I'm so sorry it's fine the point is I gave everything up for my research everything and everyone and before I could even finish, there was a car accident. I remember, Oliver wipes his eye. I remember, it was a, it was a snowy light. The headlights were so bright, and I thought, at least now I could see my mother and apologize for everything. But, hug him. You hug Oliver, there, there. It's all on the past now. All you can do is try to move on. Sniff. Yeah. Maybe that's what they would have wanted. You let Oliver cry into your shoulder for a while. Eventually he draws himself up. Sniff. Um, I should go. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I'll be fine. I think I'm going to take a nap. That is a very good thing. And, um, thank you. For playing tic-tac-toe with me. You're welcome. I'll see you later. See ya. Oliver trudges away. We going to black out again? Nah, he's not lit yet. I'm gonna make sure I can... Game saved. Eh, uh, let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Go through here. Down the stairs, out we go. Across the field. In here, in there. That way, that way, that way. I'm getting pretty good at this. You kind of memorize where you have to go. It looks like he's getting some much needed rest. Better leave him alone for now. Well, I guess we could, you know, find someone to chat to. Uh, who would we like to chat to? Could, ta could chat to King Sung again? Uh, well, we haven't really talked to Natalie that much, so might as well. Wait. Yeah. Have to go this way. Uh, let's see. A ladder. Guess things are looking up. That one never gets old. What's up? So, Nocturnal. Huh? Nocturnal, dude. The closest I've ever get, ever get to having a baby. How you get started? How you get into making a webcomic? Well, it was on my bucket list for a while, actually. I mean, I've been making art since I was a kid. But when I turned 25, I was like... I'm well on my way to a midlife crisis, so it might as well shake things up. And so, much better than I could ever expect it. That's cool. And other things on my bucket list were to bowl a perfect game and run a D&D &D campaign. But I didn't have time to get around to, do, to that. Isn't bowling a perfect game like really rare yeah but I am um, I, but I like to dream big I wanted to be an astronaut until I was like 17 Wow what's up what's up once I got into an argument once I got into an argument with a bag of fertilizer told it it was you know full of poop nice 
So it's about living. I liked it. 8 out of 10. What did you do for a living? Janitor, Denver, Medium, we already read that. Any regrets? Just one dude. Not finishing my webcomic when I... Yeah, we already read all that. I guess we already finished all the conversation dialogue for that. How's the door? Still waiting for it to open. Don't talk to me about the door. Me and the door are not on speaking terms anymore. I guess you don't adore it anymore, huh? Funny. I have a system now. I look at the door for two hours and then I look away from the door for one hour and I try the doorknob. Rinse and repeat. See, I don't want to stare constantly in case it's one of the one things, one of those things where it only happens when you're not looking. But I can't look away for too long in case I miss something night. That's a way, that's why I alternate. Sounds logical. Thanks. Yeah, let's go check on Oliver. Maybe it's, you know, time to go see how he's feeling. Because he's awake now. So we can light up his thing before the end of this. We must light him up. Because it's the last thing that we need to do. Or we can talk to Thingy. Hey, Tinkleberry. How's the garden in? Gonna be real with you. This stuff is hard work. I didn't, I didn't know how Numa does this all day. She's tougher than she looks. Yeah, she's tough one right, all right. Little bit tough, like an ant. Hmm. You know how they can like lift 10 times their weight, body weight or something? Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Eh, uh, let's see. Well, uh, let's go check on Oliver. It's still here. Eh, uh, well, let's see. Oh, he's back to work. Hello there, Tinkerberry. Oh, yeah. Did you have a nice nap? Yes, yes, I'm feeling much better now. I really needed that. Eh, uh, so, so I'm told. Told you so. Yes, I, I suppose you were right on that one. The truth is, the case of the intrusive, intrusive P was stagnating and hard. Maybe it's time to admit there really is no hidden message in that book. Had to imagine there was a typist that came out the wrong end of purgatory and the devil handed them a typewriter and said, welcome to Hellfire Press. Your job is to type this one word over and over and over until the end of time. And one day the, that typist's finger slipped and this one misprint found its way out to the shelves. Well, wow. uh, excuse me, waxing poetic for a moment. All that is to say we may never know why this typo exists. But to tell the truth, I don't think it really matters that much. That's probably a good attitude. Yeah, no kidding. If I learned anything, it's that there are way more important things in life and, and death. Speaking of which, I have one more favour to ask of you. Sure, what can I do? Would you help me carry these books outside? Oh, okay, why? You'll see, you seal. You walk to commons together. King Sung. Huh? She's usually here. I think she's with Numa. What did you want with her? Well, I was going to give her these books. Really? What's the catch? No, there's no catch. I just thought I would share. Dang, that's nice of you. Oliver drops a stack of books. You put yours down as well. Yeah, I just, I just leave a note. Poor Kingsing. I made coffee, so don't hold back. Enjoy. Signed, Oliver. Smiley face. Okay, all done. 
Thanks again for your help, Tinkleberry. Don't mention it. Now if you need me, I'll be cataloging. Eh, have fun. Oliver returns to the library. You remember what you liked about yourself. You were clever and well spoken. Beautiful beyond words. Always there for your friends. That one seems good. Your proudest moment was when you Well, there isn't really any good ones, but just pick the game one. Set the world record in a video game. Your time was 12 minutes and 59 seconds. Was it Minecraft? Seems like a Minecraft time. You picked yourself up from the ground. The books that Oliver gave to Kingston. I guess... I'm done. I guess all we have left is to call the devil. Oh, it has a phone number. What's the phone number? 555. Five, five. You know, I couldn't get the other one because it was out of, you know, singing. 555. Five. Dial. Well, I guess it's out of order. Hmm. What is it that I need to do? Hmm. It has a phone number. It's 555. Five, five. Hmm. Maybe try this. No. Now that doesn't work either. Business card for Lucifer. Alright, it was. It has a phone number. Yeah, five, five, five. But it's out of here. You know. Singy. Hmm. Ah, that's funny, that's funny there. He's a singy of a guy. Lucifer, senior, senior soul accommodations manager. Hey, let's see. Five, five, five. Hmm. Has a phone number. And his name. Hmm. That doesn't work. Maybe something changed up here. Hmm. What am I supposed to do now? Let's see. What am I missing? Ah. Maybe if you combine both the numbers. No. I'm really confused here. Has a phone number. Yeah. P.O. Box. The Furnal. Purrants of the Underworld. Hotmail. Hmm.
Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to do. It doesn't work. Hmm. Is there something I'm missing? So it's five, five, five. Or is it just five? Hmm. Feels like one of these games that you have to try and figure out what the number is. History. Has a business card. to do here. I guess I'm stuck. You won't even go close to the edge. Hmm. Oh, I guess I have to leave it off here. But hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of Purgatory, this is the end of part 3. Uh, let me go back to the main menu. Uh, have a nice day, stay safe, have a toasty apple. Maybe even an orange, maybe even some orange juice. Need to keep up the vitamins, very, very important. And bye bye, see you next time. Have a nice day, see you, bye bye.